see the way that it's all misshapen? Try and get the back of the leaf so you can see the vein pattern. Oops. Separate those. And that's what the clumps look like. There's a leaf growing out of the tip of that one. So anyway, that's what's left of it. And now we'll go take a look at the uh, actual cuttings that I've got laid out up there. Ah, that does concern me. Okay. So that's the one that I yanked off the top of it, oh, top of the uh, tree. I'll just set that down here. Okay, so this is cutting number one, and I'll have to like zoom in with my editor or whatever, but it's absolutely bizarre. And see in the middle here? It looks like there's trying to be a cluster growth, and that is not that's supposed to be the shape of that, and more clusters. And we'll take a look at the back side. Small leaves, big leaves, curled up leaves, leaves growing. Look at that. That leaf is growing right out of the bottom of that. So. There's some more mangledness left on the tree if anybody wants me to take more cuttings. Tell me where and from what area. See the way the tips are split? That's just absolutely not right. So that's cutting number two. You can see those ball-like leaf things, immature leaf deformed leaf. You can see the veins here. They shouldn't be forked like that. Now here's another anomaly with the leaves coming off the tips. And again, the weird shape on the leaves. Take a look at the back. This is cutting number four. And I was looking for remember what his first name was, somebody Rogers, he was a botanist, he was going to get back with me last year and never did. Anyway, so, it's really weird. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. Try and cut that out. But look at that, right here. What the heck is that? What causes that? That's DNA mutation for sure. Fasciation. Okay. That was number five. Here's number six. So you know, these leaves look normal here. You've got the main leaf and then two, four, six behind it, right? But check this out. Look at this. I don't know what to tell you. That is just too weird. And there's another one of those leaf ball things. And this looks barely good on the branch of defunct weirdness. And the tips of those leaves. Okay, so that was number six. Here's number seven. Cutting number seven. 
again these leaves curl and they try and grow more leaves out of the tip of the leaf. And you get a pretty good shot of what's going on in the back of it there. I'll be happy to send these off to anybody who wants them. And look at these leaves here. It's like, no, we're not going to grow like we're supposed to. Just kind of screw up. Okay. This is cutting number nine. I guess I lost eight. And here it is, I'm like, again, on the tip of the leaf. Like I said, I've only seen small ants on there. And they weren't weird ants. They were just your everyday normal ants. More anomalies on the ends of the leaves here. Bring it over. Let's see what this is about. Well, that just chose to grow in a big curl. Look at that. Okay, so we're on to number 10 here. This one has a lot of those balls of leaves right out. Again, should be just a pointed leaf, not a jagged leaf. All on the same stem. Now look at that. What the heck? Leaves growing out of the bottom of that too. And my trolls say I'm faking it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, then. All right. On to 11, and that's the last one that I have for that mutated tree back there that I spent a lot of time on. Okay, there's a curly, weird growth leaf. And they're supposed to be pointed. Now I will show you again what I believe to be the parent trees based on all of those trees I had to pick from. I know we've got black walnuts, obviously maple pine, um, a couple of elm, and I'm, I don't know what these are from the volunteers, but like I said, one is messy and the other is not, but the leaf shape on both of them seems to be consistent with the way that these mutated ones have looked. So this was, oh shoot, was this the messy one or the not messy one? Mom or dad, I don't know, I can't remember right now. I'll put an annotation. But anyway, it looks kind of normal. Okay, we've got oh, one main one, two, so we've got six. Maybe that isn't the same parent. Let's see what this, okay, this one has the one main one and six back ones. Looks like something ate that one. Okay, one main one and two, four, six off the stem. One main one and two, four, six off the stem. So that looks like a parent for sure. Well, this one, I may be incorrect because that one only has the main leaf and four behind it. Unless males and females are different, I don't know. That's why I'm looking for help. So, yeah, it looks like an insect did try and eat some of these leaves. But the shape is what I'm after here of what the normal parent tree, I believe, looks like. Take a look at the back here. So you can see the veins and the leaves compared to the other veins and the leaves. I'll turn this one over here too. See, they do look similar. But this one only has five leaves on the stem. And this one has seven leaves. 
her stem. So I will go back and look at the mutated ones over here. Give me a good look at the shape of the leaves. Aside from whatever it's doing here. Um, you know, they're taking on a jagged appearance on some of them. And other leaves are absolutely unidentifiable to where they may have come from. So, I'm looking for any suggestions or ideas on what the heck is wrong with this tree. All right. Again, please um, mirror any or all of my videos from either Miss Milky the Clown with the number one after it or Miss Milky the Clown, my original one. I have as much as I could possibly collect for the last over five years on Fukushima. Um, and there's no need to pay attribution or anything like that. Just upload them at your own will on your own channel. Put them wherever you like and um, let me know what you think. And I'll be taking a little break for a while. So enjoy your summer as I will be. And thank you, and thanks for hanging out with Miss Milky the Clown and her defunct tree. Pretty fast, but Mother Nature just wants.